Now I would like to introduce our sponsor, Rowan Derbeka. Rowan, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm a director of the legal firm and we provide legal services to our clients and currently we're the official partner of uh, the festival, Central Asian Nobel Fest. Could you tell us why you decided to support the forum? Well, first of all, the, this festival is a unique event because the speakers of this festival are Nobel laureates, the prominent scientists, the world-known scientists, and participation in this festival is free of charge. Uh, the lectures are open to anyone to listen to it. It's absolutely free. And that's why we supported to decided to support this project, because that's a social project. And if you were a student, would you be interested to participate in it? Yes, that would be very interesting, because the level of this festival is very high, and I think that it is done the first time in our region. And when I was a student, we didn't have such a chance. So I think the students of today, the young scientists, they are lucky that we are having such festival now in Kazakhstan. I agree with you. And I would like to start what we did yesterday. Yesterday at the session devoted to economy and the founder of uh, the index, Hal Xavier Sala Martin, he said that the best policy is to give freedom to inventors. Do you agree with that? Yes, I absolutely agree with it. Because if we give freedom to scientists, to researchers, to creative people who are interested to invent something, then of course we have better products. And uh, uh, and the good example is the US and Europe where there are such scientists as Bill Gates who created computer at his garage and Elon Musk. Nobody believed in them at the beginning, but now they are the world-known personalities. Yes, they set the trend all over the world. And also at some of this, at one of the sessions yesterday, we talked about digitalization and uh, we talked that during the pandemic, the digitalization accelerated and its role in increased. And the representative of the World Bank said that during this lockdown, the acceleration increased actually, and it had a leapfrog of five years. And for example, the digital payments inc increased and the online shopping. And during the pandemic, digitalization, how it affected your activities? Our activities, well, were not the exception because our company, we started working remotely. We also do meetings with clients remotely and uh, clients are also were happy to do it because yeah, we need to keep safe. And there is one more issue. This is signing of documents. Many entrepreneurs face this problem of signing important documents or contracts because due to the pandemic, many people were not able to sign the documents. That's why there were online services emerging in the market that would give such services of signing the documents. And when you started talking about this, I remembered a scene from a movie infected with uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, and she actually infected her driver because she signed a document and uh, she transferred the document to her. So I think this electronic signatures is a really good idea. Well, we now often say that uh, digitalization gives a very good access to services. It improves our life. In your opinion, are there any negative things about digitalization? Well, unfortunately, there are. And uh, of course, there are many examples, like in Kazakhstan, the pandemic was a surprise to all of us. And uh, we had problems with computers. And when the academic year started, many students and many educational organizations didn't have the computers. Many platforms didn't keep up with the burden. So there are such technical issues, of course, and Kazakhstan is improving that step by step. 
and the Zoom platform remember how many times it was attacked, not only in Kazakhstan, that happened in the US as well, when the students were not able to have their classes as they were supposed to because uh, there were interruptions. And in your activities, I think that's very important uh, to ensure the safety, security of data uh, because there is confidential data and it's very dangerous to expose it to have the leakage of data. How did it affect you? Yes, of course it affected us because our clients, they uh, demand the confidentiality. And when we use certain platforms, for example, Zoom, there were some risks, uh, risks of information leakage. And uh, in Zoom, I would like to say, yeah, the Zoom had such issues of data leakage and many companies such as Google, Apple and other companies, even NASA, they stopped using Zoom services and uh, this problem is still pending. Yeah, you're right. But still, many developers have this chance, maybe develop some new product, more secure. Roland, thank you very much for supporting the forum and uh, please stay with us. We'll have a very interesting day and...